In the Gate City, former Secretary of Housing and Urban Development Julian Castro is telling young Democrats it looks like their hard work is going to pay off on Election Day. I'm confident that uh, we're going to take back Congress and that y'all are going to have some good victories here in New Hampshire. The Texan says Granite Staters and the rest of the country are fed up with President Trump as the Secret Service investigates explosive devices sent to President Obama, Hillary Clinton and others. Castro says leading up to today, Trump has done nothing to de-escalate political tensions. He's fanning the flames of division. He's not the one, obviously, that, that, that we can directly say is responsible for what happened today with the bomb threats. Um, however, at every juncture, he has failed as a leader to try and unite Americans instead of divide them. Castro, who has said he's likely to run for president in 2020, tells News 9 he expects to make a decision after the midterms. I believe that whether I run or not, that it's time for a new generation of leadership. The young Dems like what they hear so far. I think he resonates with young people, he resonates with um, uh, minorities and people of color, so um, especially here in Nashua, um, and specifically the ward I represent, Ward 4, which is uh, the most diverse, one of the most diverse wards uh, in the state. It's a busy schedule for Secretary Castro. He's going straight from here to an event for the Salem Town Democratic Committee. It's being held in Derry. Reporting live in Nashua, Adam Sexton, WMUR News 9.